I had a feeling this would be the optional room. Because they started me off pointed at that. Even though that's usually the... That's usually the door that usually means secrets. They had a sneaky door back there. Nah, it's not bright enough yet. There we go. Ba boom. This is Odin's. I'd recognize his atrocious taste anywhere. Well, yeah, we've been to several Odin locations already with all their scrolls. has his reasons. Might I have a look? Well, this is most unexpected. Why? What does it mean? I haven't the foggiest. Isn't that unexpected? Good. Look, clearly that's Tyr. Traveling somehow. Perhaps magically. But what's that to do with the giants that they should devote a shrine to it? I'm afraid that is none too clear. What are those runes in the corners? Not runes. Symbols from different lands. They mean... War. Aye. How do you... This one I know too well. Oh. His eyes. They are jewels. Like yours. No doubt signifying the gift of sight the giants granted us. Give me a closer look. Interesting. Very interesting. What is that? Secret plans concealed by Tyr so none could access but him. And those few others the giants trusted. And right under Odin's nose. Ho, ho, ho! I did promise I'd get you to Jotunheim. What do you mean, Ed? You said we were out of options. Don't you see, brother? Odin never gave up hope, and neither should we. He knew there was a clue in here, but we are the ones who found it. These plans are for a key to some chamber tears kept hidden. I don't know where it's leading or what we'll find, but it's a path. How do we make this key? I suggest we ask a dwarf. That symbol on the temple door. It's a bunch of runes together. Peace, unity, hope, other things too. Tyr's own design. He made this door himself. Oh yeah, there's a few different things. There's the Omega. The spiral that apparently means war. Reminiscent of the one that spirals Kratos' body. to Midgard and see about making that key. Where's that dwarf? Okay. That threatens some level of ambiguity. The idea that maybe he didn't actually see anything. But we saw Baldur's memory as a third party. 
So it seems most likely that Atreus saw everything and is just kind of moving past it. Obviously, I know it. When I think about Boulder and Freya and... The mayor? Yes, lad. <laughs> Freya. How's that, brother? Hey, tell me Balder's vulnerability. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Wait, what is happening? He is bewitched not to speak of what he knows. I am? I am! Oh, that's it precisely. I wonder how long that's been so. Since she had my head at her mercy, or back when I figured out Baldur's weakness. I'm here. Yes, lad. You just said you figured out Baldur's weakness. Did I? But Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Ugh. Enough. This means there is a way. <laughs> if he troubles us again, we will find it. It's like the, uh... Perception shield in Doctor Who. The first Amy Pond episode. Or the more accurately, the people you would, f the, the entire species that you would forget the existence of the moment you stop looking at them. He knows something, but he's been specifically tricked to not divulge it anymore. Can you make it? Is it a weapon? Armor? Or likewise an instrument of war of which I'm a master at shaping? No? Then forget it. Even if I wanted to make such an insignificant goo-gaw, I'm liable to chink my tools working on something so delicate and ladylike. Then shingle it. Pattern weld the item with scap slag. Keep the layers thin. Alternate the overlay. Okay, smart guy. And where do you propose to find a lump of quality scap slag? Last time I saw one, I could still get rigid down south. Shut your mouth, is that... Where did you... I had to get my hands dirty. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't just stand there. Let's do this. What? You? You're fine with working on something that's not a weapon? Oh, hell, why not? <laughs> what? I can grow, too. Oh, watch, watch the spine. Keep your wrist loose. No, oh, you keep your wrist loose. Yeah, I need more heat here. Coming up. You gonna temper that steel longer? You don't need to. I triple quenched it with Drago. See? How inventive and sanitary. You clever little beaver. Never too late to learn a new trick, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah. Here it is. Nope. Don't forget this. No, oh, quit your grinning. It's downright unsettling. It's just nice to see you together. But now the rune on your brand looks different. Yeah, price of uh, reforging something what broke. I knew it. You two love each other. Oh, cut it out, Francis. You're gonna get me all weak. I like the new one better. Don't you? We have work to do. Oh, that's sweet. My brother and me got a new project. Now that we're on speaking terms. Oh? Okay. That was sweet. There's also the additional layer of, like, 
kind of works on a different layer with the lore too, because in the old story, when they were forging Thor's hammer, it was Brock that worked the bellows and Sindri that did the forging. So kind of they're splitting their differences and getting back together had them doing the reverse things where Sindri was actually working the bellows. What do you want? With the whetstone and hammer you've retrieved for us, Brock and I can construct the Devegrathiker, dwarven armor of legend. We just need three more mythical ingredients before we set to hammer. Which are? Dunno. Armor's pure legend. And the details is fuzzier than a wolver's butthole. You expect us to find parts from a legend? Oh, Motsognir the Dwarf King found two of them. Everyone knows that. But when he went looking for the third, poof, he vanished. Maybe he'll find some clues at his stronghold in Konungsgard. And looky here, a Konungsgard entry stone. It's got your name on it. How fucking strange. Well, I'm gonna get busy with side tasks. We've got the strongholds northwest of here, behind the Svartalfheim realm tower. Large stone structure, creepy atmosphere. You'll know it when you see it. The Holder brothers, back in action again. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Never think I'd see such a day we was back to building as a duo. But it feels right, especially for this. Since I used to building on my own all these years, almost forgot how dang useful an extra pair of hands is. I forgot how much easier it is to smelt scap's leg with someone else gauging the temperature. This will be our best work yet. Just need a little help from you lot. So we got the main story, we got the Conan's Guard side thing, but also back in there we've got access to a whole new area. A whole new world. <laughs> Something else we can do for you? Nah, just glad you guys worked it out. Ah, well, I could say the same to you. Huh. I guess I was getting a bit full of myself. Told him what he needed to hear, how's it sounds to me. Just the same. I'm sorry for how I spoke to you, Sindri. You forgive me? Already have. Like you said, it all worked out. Now, let us get back to work before I get... Sentimental. Hmm. Okay, what's good? Admittedly, it doesn't seem like their problem was a huge one. A disagreement, friction. Uh, we've got some more distressing, distressingly weighty stuff going on with my characters. These love these upgrades are coming fast. It would, it would, we did not get these blades at the halfway point of the game. We got them much later, it would seem, because the uh, upgrades for them are coming very quickly. Ah, I can do it. Yeah. Yeah. That ought to keep them from hacking bits off you. So now my chest armor is fully upgraded. Yep, upgrade to the max. So now I can start working on... What is my waist? Oh wait, my waist is already a fully upgraded traveler item, isn't it? So next up is to craft... Uh... Wrist traveler item. Gauntlets of the traveler. There we go. I don't see any reason not to because he uses traveler items and we're, we're good with that. I already have upgraded the other two items, traveler items, so let's just start investing in the next one. I didn't equip it yet, but let's see, can I upgrade it again yet? No. I cannot. Still, uh... It's treated overall as a downgrade. But I think that's only because the other item I'm comparing it to it has, yeah, it has two sockets. Overall, those kind of have shitty stats. So there's the aura of fire. Just not sure if that's worth it. I don't think I'm fully investing in that particular challenge gauntlet, so it might be better just to deal with these ones. Right. Lots of luck. Lots of luck. Uh, 
Okay, maybe not though. Maybe maybe once I upgrade it, because it has fewer it has fewer slots. But yeah, I'm starting the tree. I'm starting down that tree, and the travelers seem to be really findable. <laughs> they seem to throw their way in front of me, like they're like it's. They seem very easy to get. So it seems like it's, it's going to be relatively easy to upgrade this, and then once I upgrade it one more time, it'll have more slots, and then I can go from there. Ooh, perfect aspect of the realm. Holding L1 for several seconds grants fortification, causing an explosive knockback after a successful block. And this one just has seven to all of your stats. Hard to, hard to not equip that. What's this? Reduced cost of Spartan Rage. Kind of a fringe upgrade. Spartan Rage just isn't that much of an important aspect of my overall combat. And that efficiency difference is not necessarily going to make and break the whole thing. So now we've got all kinds of stats. I'm level 6, I've got 2 purple and 1 gold on my equipment, and then in my runes I've got 4 gold and 4, and four purple. And this guy is purple, everything's purple. Let's do it. No more relics, no missed items. Leviathan Axe is upgraded, Blades of Chaos is upgraded, Chest Armor. I just went through those three items already, yeah. Axe Pummel. The Oblivion Stone. Hmm. It does seem like that one might be stronger in the long term. Rising Fury. Not honestly sure if I'll ever be able to upgrade this one again. Perfect as Guardian Steel, the fact that it's like the mega one makes me think that it requires me to kill the final... final... uh... I always want to say harpies because they're flying, winged uh, women, uh, Valkyrie. So that doesn't bode very well for me. Hmm. You say buy, but it really seems like you're asking me to craft it, considering it requires a bunch of resources. I'm kind of surprised those aren't in the craft menu, honestly, but I guess... I guess enchantments just aren't there? Yeah. They just aren't there. This one also requires a bunch of resources. Sorry you wasted my time. Wow. Dick. So where are we going? Alright. King's Hollow looks like it's our destination. Definitely best to find the name on the map, then then look for the name on the list, and then trying to like key through them slowly. I'm confused. I always heard that Baldur's mother was Frigg. Aye, Frigg. Well, that's more of a pet name, you see. It means beloved. Something Odin called Freya after they wed, out of affection at first, or so I like to believe. As things turned sour, it became a way to manipulate the truth. How so? Odin didn't want Freya, a Vanir goddess, getting credit for anything in Asgard. So anything worthy she accomplished was attributed to Frigg. Like being Baldur's mother. That's right! Freya was Baldur's mother all along. <sighs> she and... okay. So in this universe, Frigg and Freya are the same person. Frigg is an art... Uh, just a completely invented person that... Odin used for political gain, basically. 
This speaks a little bit to the fact that there's a lot of translation issues and confusions and ambiguities in the knowledge of how- You went the wrong way, Atreus. In uh, a lot of this stuff, like, like, like our before conversations about like, are dwarves and dark elves the same thing or different things? Surprisingly, despite the fact that it sounds stupid when you say it out loud, that's kind of an ambiguous point, actually, whether or not uh, whether or not trolls and and uh, the, the screen is just black in front of me. That's brutal. The uh, not trolls, uh, but also the, the frost giants. Like are giants are frost giants actually giant? Are they normal size? Know that question. But then also like dwarves and dark elves are they the same thing or two different things? Uh, it's different sources massively clash on that. And if people tell you that there's a definite answer, they're probably just not aware of how just how vague it actually is and uh on that level frig and freya are two thing are two characters that are sometimes completely distinct and sometimes mixed up with each other and used interchangeably sometimes and it's just kind of a weird confusing mess and so their they when they had to do a concrete thing in this game their interpretation was the idea that frig just is freya and always was and Odin's a dick, again, for another reason. <laughs> this is new. Whee! So I'm pretty sure I've been around here before. Atreus. Follow me. Oh, I know I haven't. That was a dumb thing to say. I just opened a door with the key. So, of course, I haven't been here before. It just reminds me of the landscape, kind of, of where I, f to, uh, where I freed the first dragon. God, he's big. Boy. It says, Glory to Motsignir, the Dwarf King. May his reign be long, prosperous, and filled with peace. Monsungnir's throne. After many winters, the stronghold of Kon of Konungsgard is complete. Monsungnir has invited all citizens to attend the grand ceremony in the throne room. There we await the calming words of our king, who promises everlasting safety and prosperity. This new land is even more fertile than Vethergard. And with Regin as our stalwart sentry, we fear not from the Reavers, Dark Elves, nor any malevolent force. The reign of King Monsignir is truly blessed by Tyr himself. All hail the Dwarf King, Protector of Man. Huh. Sounds like they actually liked this Dwarf King. The people in Vethergard sure didn't. I wonder what changed. Propaganda. <laughs> It's easy to make people think that you, that somebody was liked. Oh, you guys split up Green again already? And welcome to Conan's Guard. I just want to make sure you're good and prepared before heading in any further. There's all manner of nastiness left over from the Mad Dwarf King's foul practices. What kind of practices? Oh, various sacrificing, dark enchantments, blood, magic, and so forth. Quite common among the older dwarves, unfortunately. Old habits are hard to break. Well, I think we're good. Whoa. Look, it's another dragon. I see it, boy. Chain. I hope we can find the binding shrines. Oh, this there there it is. Huge. I straight up was, she was like, whoa, a dragon. And I'm like, what the fuck you talking about? <laughs> not, the mo not the most convenient eye line right there. Huh? Rule of threes. That might be the last dragon you free. Whoa. That was cool. I don't even remember how to do that attack. Hi, guys. Ah, oh, Jesus. Why'd you throw him here? Throw him in the hole. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Hard steel's everywhere. I should not feel bad about spending it. We've hit we've reached that critical turning point where it's up where it's like, oh when am I gonna get that again? Should I spend it? I don't know. To like it coming back again every two seconds. These guys are definitely more durable. At level six, my level. If the Dwarf King captured more than one dragon, he must have needed them to create this legendary armor. Interesting thought, lad. And it makes sense. Nearly everything about dragons is useful and contains power. Teeth, scales, even excrement. Excrement? Yeah. Oh, shit. Dragon is powerful? The head is having fun with you. Oh, I, I knew that. Dragon shit is powerful. That's a sentence. Dude, you're not very observant. Am I talking about the enemy or Atreus? Yes. You think that guy spawned to attack us, so it's a little weird that he was patrolling in the area I already was. It just didn't quite take, I get. When I'm in mindless mode against the weaker enemies, I literally will just start sometimes hit- I'll just be mashing R1 and square at the same time over and over again. It's just like, here's my here's my basic attack and the lightning arrows. It does lead to a few more messages than I want from Atreus being like, Sorry, I'm not ready. I'm all out of arrows. I can't do it yet. Hang on a minute. But it's just like, that's how you make sure that she shoots on cooldown, is that He'll just fire another arrow every time he has another arrow to spend. Because it varies from fight to fight. How much you need to pay attention. I'm, I mean, I'm always paying attention. It's more like how much you want, how many, how much you need. It's worth like exerting yourself from fight to fight, because there's just a, there's a density to it. Like just trying to get from point A to point B at some point, and the same mobs will just keep spawning, and the same ones you've been fighting for hours. So it's like, all right, well, let's just hammer through. Get back to the interesting stuff. That's an impressive front door. Yeah, it is. These materials must be pretty special to make a legendary armor. This legendary armor better be worth the trouble. But if Brock and Sindri make it together, I'm sure it's worth the effort. Don't you trust them at least? I trust you, Atreus. I do not trust the legend. Oh. Aw. That's sweet. Well, that's one entry stone. We have a way to get inside. I hate pots. Hmm. So one side has a dragon, one side has a boar. The main boar has to. Oh, there's a wolver. Just chowing down on corpses. I've got the wolf powers. Get out of here. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, bad time. Oh, bad times. That was anticlimactic. <laughs> He pounds on the arm that many times, I half expected just to come right off.
Hello. Gotta be careful with our exploration here. Or we might get turned around. <laughs> 